Hey guys, it's Jaden, and we're back with the Magician. Hey guys, it's Jaden, and we're back because the Magicians episode two. You know, I'm gonna be honest. It was not that live. Maybe I'm looking for more action. I. It was a good episode. It just feels like a lot of heavy setup to where we are supposed to be going. Nothing was really too epic. It just was what it was. So, yeah. Essentially, at the start of the story, we have Jake Choi and don't really know what his character's name is. So, I'm going to call him Eugene. I think that's what his name is. But he approaches Katie in a bar after Katie's lackey. I don't know what his name is. Ends up going off with some random girl. He and Katie end up waking up in the morning and they can't remember anything for the past couple of days. Wild. Hmm. So, Katie basically, this entire episode, tries to track down her memory and figure out what's happening. She ends up recruiting Penny, who ends up telling her and, and Eugene and puts them into some psychic warping thing and uses their memories to sit there and reconnect their entire night. Which, they do, but it turns out that, you know, Eugene was actually a sleeper cell slash assassin who was meant to sit there and I guess erase people's memory or something. I don't really know really what was happening. But when she threatens that Penny will sit there and go through his head, he basically kills himself. Sad. But on Alice's front, I'm going to sit there and say Alice is a dumb. I don't think her mom meant when you should do something crazy and not let anyone stop you. I don't think she meant, hey, go resurrect your boyfriend in this age of a 12-year-old golem so you can sit there and be selfish. I think that's rude. I think that's selfish. I think that she shouldn't have done that. Like, you could have easily just helped... Julia, but whatever. I don't know. Alice has always been that way. And then Julia sits there and expects the whole, the whole spell, and then basically she confirms, like, oh my god, you just spell perfectly. Well, duh. That's Alice Quinn. She does spells backwards, forwards. She was a niffin. I mean, like, did we expect anything less of her just because she's grieving? Like, she's still Alice. Julia's like, maybe, you know, you, you did it wrong in the sense of you're not going to answer that one question. Maybe it's something else. Which was really just to give her, like, the forgiveness or just the ability to sit there and say goodbye. And finally, you know, Alice hops on to Julia. Let's go fix the quest train. Okay. Bringing us to Margot and Elliot, who essentially spend the entire episode trying to sit there and make sure that Josh and Finn are alive. They sent back some time-traveling bees that killed Josh earlier than he was supposed to die. And then the Dark King comes over, or the Takers come over and steal the kingdom and Dark Lord rises, whatever. They also then send back a letter saying, hey, Josh, you need to attack those things. That happens. It didn't work out so well. Essentially, the Dark King won, and they had a funny mission accomplished joke, which was so hilarious, actually. Very George Bush. And then they died because the Dark King overran them and took over their entire kingdom. Who didn't see that coming? Then finally, you know, Margo sent another, another letter essentially letting Josh know, like, hey, you need to sit there and go here, give this man a ham sandwich. And he sent basically all of the Margo's court, plus Josh and Finn, to the future. So, well, that's a good thing. My only thing with this is Elliot's kind of been a dickhead the entire time. Like, I guess, I guess this entire episode to me kind of seems like it's really discussing the whole vibe of like letting go and which it's very important to sit there and accept that someone is gone but I don't feel like Elliot really accepts that and he's kind of being a dickhead to everyone mainly Margot right now I really want to know how Elliot and Finn are actually going to interact because at the end of the day like Finn has some weird attach attachment i know they're married but like this is a really weird attachment though to him and i just don't know where that's gonna go to be honest i do finally see them at least pushing along the katie storyline eventually it's going to interact with um everyone else but it's not right now and i do believe that penny 23 signal that he's been tracing that is also going to have to interact with the story somehow but to be honest, I think this is a solid episode. I'd say about six to seven out of 10. Like it's not really enough action, really. There's not really, it's really just a lot of plot heavy. Like let's get this thing going on. Let's give this series what it needs. 
I think the best part in this was the fight inside of the, the mind skate between essentially Eugene and Katie once Katie figured out who the hell he was. I don't know. Also, I thought the whole concept behind Eugene or whatever his name is was actually really interesting. Like, the fact that he's an assassin, but he doesn't want to remember any of the things that he does to other people. So that's interesting. Um, I don't think we've had that concept done before um, in general. Very interesting. But... Hopefully we get to move this story along. We actually get to the meat and potatoes because right now I'm eating just hella water, like drinking hella water, not even eating. Like I'm eating air, I'm breathing. I wanna be living, I'm not. So yeah, I don't know. There's nothing really of importance that truly, truly happened. That's kind of just episode two of The Magicians. I guess this isn't really gonna be long because there really was nothing to sit there and talk about. Um, it just was what it was. It was very to the point that was it and oh well anyway let me know what you think about this episode did you like it did you enjoy it i just think the first episode was so much stronger than the second episode so hopefully the third episode really gives us i'm serious i really want some meat and potatoes anyway that's my video today anyway have a nice day let me know in the comments what you think like comment subscribe let me know exactly uh, yeah. See you later. Bye.